Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 by chapter 6. This problem is a little bit difficult. Um, at first, we talk about the very typical mode about short motion uh, with the comet and the earth. And the SQ5 is the mean distance from the sun. In this mode, we consider it's just a perfect circle motion. Okay. And then in this one, we can say we can consider capital is the third law. And the tail use a period for the comet, so T1 is given, right? 2,400 years. And also we can, our cosmology, we know the period for Earth uh, rotate around the sun is just one year. And also we know the distance from the Earth to the sun, you agree? In this case, we can find the distance from the sun to this comet. So we can see the Kepler third law, this one, the distance is ratio is cubed equals to the period ratio squared. In this one, this R1 equal to R2. R2 is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And T1 is given 2,400 years, T2 one year. So in this case, you just input the number. This is 1 AU, right? It gives you 1 AU is the distance from Earth to the Sun. You get the R1. Uh, it's easy. The second one, SQ, now we consider this uh, uh, model is not a perfect circle motion. It's just uh, have the nearest point and the farthest point. The, we can consider it's the closest approaches and then the, what is the farthest uh, distance. So we consider it look like this way. But then we can consider that R1 we just get is the average distance um, from this uh, uh, comet to the sun, do you agree? So the distance, the average distance for the sun to this comet should uh, include two parts, the dm plus df divided by two equals to the average distance, agree? Because this is the nearest uh, distance, this is a far away distance. So in this one, we can, in this equation, r1 is given, and also we find the dn is given. So very easily we can find df. Agree? Yes? And we input the df inside, we find this one is uh, uh, 360 AU. The next one, I skewed by the ratio of speed for this uh, nearest point uh, to the farthest point. So this one we consider Kepler's second law. Kepler's second law tells us at a certain time, uh, the, if we just connect this uh, line from the uh, sun to the comet, this, this, this uh, our areas should equal to this area. Do you agree? Yes. So how can we calculate the area it is swept? So this one we can consider it as a triangle. This one still as a triangle. So in this one, it is one half. This length is V and T, right? V and T. So how much distance is covered? This one times this one, the, this, the nearest point. And D and still the area for this triangle. So one half. This length VF times the DF. Then we can find the ratio for this speed for nearest point to the farthest point. It is just the reverse of the ratio df to the dm, and df and dn are given. So after we input the numbers inside, we get the final answer. Thank you.